Hi, it's Joanne Tank and watching Titans season two, episode eight, Jericho, which this is gonna be the episode, isn't it? We find out what happens, Dick's gonna tell them, I guess, because as we told Jason at the end of the last traumatizing episode, at the beginning of this traumatizing episode, or at some point he's gonna tell them the truth and we're gonna finally find out what happens. I'm really excited because I found this episode much earlier than I normally do, and I'm gonna do it for until Saturday. I'm not sure whether you'll be seeing this because I don't know whether I'm gonna have time to edit it tonight or not, but I'm very excited, I'm very stressed because this show, I've been season two, has just been so good and I'm very I'm very stressed about these characters and the trauma they're going to put me through and I'm desperate to know what happened with Jericho but I'm also quite scared so I don't want to wait, let's go. Are we starting with a flashback? Oh Jericho. Oh. Where on earth is he? Is he having a nightmare? Am I watching the wrong show? Yeah, it was a nightmare. Oh. Hey. She was definitely in Killjoy's. So where does Rose fit into this family? Careful. Huh? He's not going to be careful enough. Well, they're just acting like they're normal friends, hanging out. Oh, nice toss. Oh, this is just uh, not right. They know that. You okay? I hate this. This is the only way. I think you all hate it, even if you think it's the only way. So <laughs> oh, dick. I want to tell him to be careful, but I obviously know he isn't. So is this whole episode going to be the flashback that finishes it off and tells us what happened and I don't know. I'm not sure I want to keep watching. Who from? Program for information. Is dead. Oh. Not everyone has a family you want to talk about. Pretty much. I was raised by a borderline psychopath. <laughs> I'm loving all this backstory information. Hi, try to relax. It doesn't matter if you start off a hero or if you become a villain. Don't eat that. Bit of overkill there, you know they were dead when you kept firing. Just saying, you're wasting your ammunition. So how does Rose fit into his family? Is she part of the family unit? Did she stay with Slade when they ran away? Or does he have a daughter with someone else? So he tried to Never be a father. That That'll keep you safe too. I mean, it's not gonna do a very good job of that. Unfortunately. Why is that? You can just see how awful they're all feeling, but determine how determined they are to stay on the mission. I'm loving this backstory. Dad, oh dear. Dad, oh dear. Oh Jericho. Okay. Put pressure on it. Poor baby. I love Jericho, <laughs> he deserves so much better than his father and his fate. He's just is such a trusting good the person. Fucked up families. He's gonna have a drink. Cheers. He's just so happy with his friends and I just I just feel so horrible. Leave him out of this. Sounds right. So do they all think they've cut Jericho out but because he doesn't go to plan, Dick sticks with it? And that's what gets him killed. Garth is dead. Nobody's forgotten. None of us. No, but the that's why. Up far enough with him. Hold. Still hot. Just to taunt them that they just missed him. Oh. So what was his target to kill Garth? Leave Jericho out of it. No one does. Worth being shot. Who was the real target? He wasn't the target. Donna? Her? Yep. Me. And he gave his life for her. Garth was good. Yes, he was. Too good, in a way, it killed him. And your emotions colour your actions. I mean, they all are, that is very true. But at the very least, keep them looped in on the plan, they can help. Oh my goodness. Yeah. He can mind control? Someone in the present is totally being mind controlled to like, go around inside the Titan's Tower. Is Jericho still alive? Or can Rose do it? Freaking out. Because that would explain what's happening in the present with him finding all the stuff lur lurking around. If someone mind controls. Wouldn't it? If it's inherited, it could be Rose as well. So did Dick see that? He brought him into the Titans? He's hanging around. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just... Oh. It's like the ghost of Jericho still in the tower. He came up. <laughs> Hank. <laughs> Hank, what? This is just so fascinating for the present. What? He doesn't dance. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea. I've rented him out. This. <laughs> oh god, Jericho. And pull my groin? 
You should have gone into Dick to show all of them. But it was more funny this way. So Rose could do this too, or Jericho's not really dead, or some of him's lingering. There is so much more to this backstory than I thought, and I love it. At this point, maybe it's worth opening up to him. I mean, obviously they don't, but to tell him the truth. And then to say that they really like him and that they befriended him as they did it. What are you talking about? I wake up alone. I go to sleep alone too. You're a ghost these days. He's losing himself in the present as well as now, but here. I have a saving people problem, too, Grace. He does. It's very there. true, but it's gonna go horribly wrong. If he stays, we tell him the truth. The cards on the table. Please tell him the truth, please, please, please. I'd love for you to join us. Oh, he's so sweet. So we need to tell you first. Please, please, please tell him. I lied to you because I wanted to get information from you. I'm oh, I really didn't know whether or not they'd opened up to Jericho, and I was so glad they did. He's a big oh, Jericho. We want you to join us. I'm so glad they were the open and all this. We really are. I'm really emotional, and I wish it worked. He wants to know if he's our friend who is dead. Yeah. Oh god, I'm really emotional. This is really beautiful, yes. but it's just so tragic. Triply tragic. Oh, Truth about his dad. Everything. Oh, Jericho. I hope someone here gives him a hug. So what is Dick not telling them? Oh, his mum won't understand. And how does Rose fit into all of this? Oh. Did she know? She was trying to protect you from I, the truth. I know how much you Oh, want. Jericho! I, I don't want to take that away from you. This is even more heartbreaking than I thought it would be. The one where she really happy that they didn't just use him, but they did tell him the truth. Maybe Dick's going to continue using him. Oh no, that was protection. I mean, I don't really believe that that was protection, but you know. Not your friends. They did tell him the truth. About you. So she helps get him killed. All of these when people help get him killed. But Jericho decided a better family than this. I want you to go away so you never hurt us again. So that's why he ends up, I after Jericho died, that's why he ends up living in a cabin in the middle of nowhere until he sees the Titans are back, keeping his promise. I really don't want to watch the end of this episode. <laughs> I want to live in a make-believe world where Garth comes back to life and then Jericho's still alive and then we can still meet all the other kids and everything's fine. Oh no. Why isn't he with the others? Read sign language. Hmm. <laughs> I know Slade hasn't been much of a dad, but... Oh, is Dick gonna follow him or go with him to this meeting? Yours, then... And not tell the others? But he didn't want to lie to you. Oh, Jericho's too right? pure. You told me to be Batman. He's being who he thinks Batman is? I was wrong. You were wrong, it's true. Dick is not at his best when he's trying to be this cold, calculated person. You don't like it? No. This is a trap of some kind. Oh no. Yep. Yeah. Hey. So is his... Go see your dad. What did Dick do? Oh, Jericho. It's too pure for this world. What's Dick gonna do? Follow him? And yeah, that's what gets him killed and the others never knew? Because Dick has to do something here that the others don't know about for him to be feeling as guilty as he is. Oh, Donna. Does she have any weapons on her? I mean, obviously she survives, but... Oh my goodness. Ouch. So did he just leave her for dead? And she survives? God. No wonder they're all so screwed up by Deathstroke. Oh god, I'm so stressed. Oh no, this is the church for happens. I feel sick. I'll meet you back at the tower. Oh no, Dick. Take care of Donna. He's gonna do- what does he do when he goes off by himself? Does he fire at Deathstroke and then Jericho gets in the way or something? That's the only way I, I can conceive of Dick being the one that kills him. Or does he just cause it? This is who I am. Oh, sweetheart. Your own son's scared of you. What does that tell you? Plus you kill people for a living. If your son is a good person, like we know he is, why would he ever be okay with that? You should make the same mistake I did. Or is Dick arriving here, following him? Like, did he plant a tracker on Jericho or something? And then he sees Dick and thinks that he, he betrayed him and kills him. I can hear you breathe. Oh God, what's gonna happen? 
act like heroes, but they're hypocrites. It's not. They used you. He actually told you the truth entirely. Even just now, he told you the truth. I can see right through you. I can see right through you. Yeah, Dick always wanted to follow him, but he didn't follow him until he attacked Donna and the other. Because Dick wasn't going to follow him this time. He really wasn't. Because he was just chilling in the room with the things until Donna friend. needed help. Or was Jericho going to get in the way in the middle of a fight? You're a monster. As are you. Yeah, Dick spends all of season one thinking that. Probably some season two now. This is what happens. Oh no, does that mean Dick can actually somehow kill Jericho in the middle of the fight without meaning to? Oh god, I'm so stressed. Is Jericho going to step in to try and help Dick and that's what's going to kill him? But they think Der Jer they think Deathstroke's dead, so is somehow they Dick going to kill him? What's going to happen? I'm so stressed. Oh no, that's going to blow up. Jericho, move! Jericho, move! I mean, Dick tried to help Jericho there. It's not your fault, sweetheart. Ugh. Goodness. The fights with Deathstroke are always so brutal. Oh god, where's Jericho? Is he alive? I mean, he's not gonna be for much longer, is he? Oh my god. Oh god, what's gonna happen to Jericho? Jericho, stay down, sweetheart. I know he doesn't, but oh my god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. So Dick's not really with it at the moment. Is Jericho gonna jump in front of him? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, no! Oh, I knew that was gonna happen and I'm still... Oh, Dick, that wasn't your fault. It really wasn't. Oh god, that was Deathstroke's fault, pure and simple. Oh god, I have a lot of time packing this episode. I'm so upset. I knew Jericho died this episode. I knew he was going to die like that. I guess this is... Yeah. So no wonder they weren't too pleased to see each other when they did. So what do they know about what happened to Jericho? If you ever need a place to crash. Thank you. They all love each other so much. And this tragedy, they all had a part in it, but it was no one's fault other than Deathstroke to being a murderer. Oh, you didn't mean anything. I mean, he obviously had some ulterior motives, but I truly think Dick, when he saw what Jericho could do and he knew what a good, wonderful person Jericho was, that they could help Jericho be on a good path, not like his father's, and be there for him, and... <sighs> oh, well now I'm really sad. So I'm really intrigued about what part of that the Titans don't know, like the rest of them. I guess that Dick caused his death by following him to the meet with his father, and then the fact that... Dick lost the fight and Jericho jumped in front of him and that's how he died? I, I I don't know, unless that wasn't the full story and something else happened, you know, like Dick could have called an ambulance, but he didn't. I mean, even if that was what happened, he was not exactly with it. Um, obviously, actually, I guess something more must have happened after that, in between the fight and the bit of the tower, because we don't know what happened with Deathstroke yet, do we? Because they all assumed Deathstroke was dead, so we don't know what happened after he stabbed his son. So I guess there is still more to the story, which is wonderful. Um, but as of right now, my heart is broken because we all love Jericho and then having a whole episode with him was even more of a like terrible thing. And I knew he was gonna die. And I even like, as it happened, was like, he's going to jump in front of Dick. And then as it happened, it was the worst. Another episode that I'm really not looking forward to editing that part. So I guess oh, they all, I feel to blame because they all, in, you know, they got in Jericho's life, they befriended him. But I'm really pleased that they had told him the truth. You know, I was worrying or thinking that maybe he was just going to get in the way as a pawn, where he, was, he, became, he had his own agency. You know, not to begin with, he didn't, but they told him the truth. He knew everything about his father. And, you know, he wanted to go and meet his dad. And I don't, I think Dick was desperately tempted to follow him to the, to the meet. But he didn't. Until Deathstroke attacked Donna and killed, um the other Amazons. Like, if Deathstroke hadn't done that that night, I feel like Dick wasn't making moves to go and follow him. It was seeing Donna in that way almost dead. It was seeing the people that had been killed. That's what drove him to think, no, I have to go and I have to, I have to finish this right now. So Deathstroke, again, was to blame. And I 100% get why Dick blames himself. I get why the rest of them blame themselves because they are good people. And good people blame themselves for things. Good people, if they make a mistake or they do something that leads to a mistake and something terrible happening, will blame themselves. Whereas we've never seen, even in a little bit, we've just seen Deathstroke blaming Dick for what happened. We've not seen Deathstroke accepting any guilt for, you know, 
being the one that stabbed him. Um, obviously more to it happened. Like, like I said, I've sort of just realised that we didn't really see the end of that fight because unless Deathstroke just stabbed his son, freaked out and left, you know, Dick was lying pretty helpless at the time. So you, I guess killing your own kid, you'd be a little bit preoccupied. But what happened where they all thought Deathstroke was dead? Did the fight continue? Did Dick continue fighting Deathstroke or go after Deathstroke rather than saving Jericho? And that's what he blames himself about. Because surely the rest of the group know Dick went after them because he was very bruised and he's not going to be like, oh, I fell down some stairs. Like, they will know that he was there when it happened. So what part... There is something more that I guess in the next episode he'll actually tell the Titans and that's why we're going to find out what it was and that maybe he fought against Deathstroke and Jericho was bleeding out and he could have stopped to help him but he chased after Deathstroke maybe oh I don't know I just I don't know because it has to be something for Dick to be feeling quite as guilty as he did and something that the rest of the Titans don't know I killed Deathstroke's son I mean was Jericho not dead and Dick finished him off like a mercy killing I mean at this point I'm really trying to rack my brain for what could have happened I mean so in those moments Dick you know he was losing a lot of blood he banged his head I think like he was quite spaced out his friend had been stabbed in front of him Deathstroke I mean if you just killed you stabbed your son now, a normal person would probably try and get the kid medical aid, um, or at least run away, maybe, in horror. Or if you're desperate, maybe try and finish the job, like, you were here, you thought you were going to kill Dick, so maybe just carry on doing that. What happened? Because the team all thought Deathstroke was dead. So did they just assume, because I never heard from him again, that he killed himself or something? What happened? There was, there was more to the story, I think, that we still don't know. And if I miss something obvious, do let me know. If you think from the comics you have an idea, don't tell me. Same with if you think about Rose's identity and you think you know, like, how she fits into the family from the comics, don't tell me. But if, if I miss something within the show itself, do tell me. Um, but yeah, that was heartbreaking, and I think it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be, you know, given that they were in this deep mindset of revenge from the grief they were experiencing, I kind of was expecting them to just fully be using Jericho, using Jericho, using Jericho, and whereas that was obviously what they were doing at the start, they all felt badly about it, and, you know, they all agreed to bring things off with him once they had some information and a lead to follow, and it was only when Dick saw that he could do that, had that special power, that he realised that you know, if he'd seen that person, a stranger doing that, he would have tried to recruit him into the Titans. And knowing that this kid doesn't have a place to fit in, you know, that he would have been a perfect fit for the Titans, especially how good he was. He would have been a really good influence on them, actually. He would have been a wonderful member of the Titans and had all things gone differently. Um, and yeah, I don't blame them particularly because they didn't intentionally put Jericho in any harm's way. Even in their plan, they were just hanging out with him and befriending him. It wasn't their plan to... I was worried it was going to be a thing where Dick would intentionally set out to use Jericho as bait to get his father. That is kind of what he ended up doing, but I, like I said, I truly don't think he was planning on doing that until he saw what Deathstroke had done again and had another reminder. He saw, you know, his sister. Donna is like a sister to him, bleeding, suffering, grieving because of Deathstroke, and he couldn't take it. He had to go and stop it. His, the way he was raised was justice at all costs, you know. Um, it wasn't think rationally. And so I don't really blame Dick for what happened. He tried to keep Jericho out of it. And I think he truly was sorry that he'd sort of lied to Jericho when he said that he could be his father, etc. But at the same time, Deathstroke is a serial killer. And if you have a chance to take out a serial killer, you really should take it. And, you know, Dick would never have dreamed that Jericho would jump in front of him. Dick would never have dreamed that that would happen. And obviously more happened in between, but I'm very intrigued by that. So then we have the nature of Jericho's power, this mind control. And he could, I wonder if when he's in their brains, does he learn about them somehow? Can he kind of find out something about their fears? Just because the orange soda bottle, um, was a weird thing for anyone to know about. We haven't seen Donna talk about that with anyone. Maybe she told Jericho. So is Jericho somehow still alive? Is that astral projection of him, you know, still floating around the tower, possessing people and leaving cryptic things to mess with them? Or what seems much more likely is that if one of his children inherited that power, would not another child also inherit that power? So therefore Rose could quite easily be messing with them all using that power, maybe. Or it's Deathstroke himself. That is, I mean, you know, like Dick thinks Deathstroke's in the tower. I, I, unless one of his abilities is like invisibility or unless he's got someone else there. Like I, I was thinking last episode that it could be like some sort of like metahuman, you know, someone else with powers hanging around. Um, but it could be Deathstroke. I think Rose is now a really likely candidate. Um, 
and Jericho's ghost <laughs> is also a candidate. So I think that was a really intriguing kind of glimpse into what could be causing the problems in the present. And you know, I love flashback episodes, but it's also like, I need to know what's happening next in the present. Why can't I see that? I want to know what happened after Dick and Jason were on that roof. I want to know what happens when he tells the Titans, whatever it is, he's going to tell the Titans, because we need to know too. We still don't know. I don't think what Dick hasn't told them. Um, but I love this episode a lot. Um, it was so emotional and I'm dreading next week. I'm so excited for it. Thank you for watching.